nose roll up on camera with dry lips and i look back at the footage like you couldn't have put gloss on you couldn't have and a little chapstick a little something welcome to the video i'm gonna vlog today we're gonna go to the aquarium she's still sleeping but the last time we were at the aquarium i think she was like four months old and now she's almost 11 months so i feel like she's gonna be way more into it this time obviously and like wanting to like get in the fish tank before i go too far give this video a like like go ahead and subscribe if you feel so inclined like it means literally so much and one of my resolutions was to get to 500 subscribers this year and i'm at 445 very very close and it's march so thank you to anyone new around here that subscribed i love you so much thank you thank you thank you but give this video a like it really 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 helps i don't know if it'll be today but if not today then tomorrow i want to practice making lily's smash cake i want to do like a refined sugar free smash cake and i really i have a vision also i've been trying like a little bit of a fluffier brow and I'm really into it. <laughs> I mentioned it in my last video, just like with text on the screen, but I've, I messed up. I don't know who I think I am. I got layers and it is just not, not it for me. Like I went to this amazing hair person and he did exactly what I asked for. I'm just a freaking idiot. Like he, this would look so cute on literally anyone else. But my hair is just way too thick for layers like way too thick so it just gets like poofy and crazy it has to be absolutely perfectly styled for it to look halfway decent and i'm a mother so my hair is up 99.9 percent .9 of the time so i really don't know what i was thinking luckily my hair grows super fast but if you need another sign another psa don't get layers if you have thick hair. Just don't. It's like I'm in an action shot. That's what it looks like. See, I brought the camera out and now she's gonna start acting crazy. I need to pack our bag. I took her little tank top off while I was feeding her breakfast because this, like, no matter how tight I put it, there's always like this gap and it's like she aims for it because everything goes down in the gap. So if she's wearing a t-shirt and not a onesie, I've just started taking the shirt off because we'd be ruining clothes really fast. Okay, I skipped fruit with breakfast because on days where we're out and about, I feel like she eats a lot of fruit because it's just easy. I'll show you my favorite to-go snack for her. I get them at Trader Joe's. They're little like applesauce packets and stuff. I get the apple carrot. They have like an apple mango. Not the lowest in sugar, so not something she has every day by any means, but if we're like out and about, you don't have to refrigerate these, so they're just easy. But they're organic apples, organic carrots, and then freeze-dried strawberries. Like these are my everything. Yeah. Yeah. Strawberries are like, pretty low in sugar compared to other fruits, especially like bananas and citrus and all that jazz. I don't know how long we'll be gone for. I'm gonna guess like at least four hours. So I'm sure we'll like eat something while we're out. So she's not just gonna have a bunch of fruit. You're gonna, you're gonna crush those. Here, you hold this one. I also have these little like melty probiotic things. I got them from Target. She's grabbing my legs. I just have like a little, a little travel bag that I use to keep her diapers and stuff organized. Oh boy. Um, because I love my diaper bag that my bestie Tiffany got, but it's honestly better for like weekend trips or like long trips out because it's so big. Um, but if I'm just like trying to keep it in the stroller, it's just too much. So I'm gonna add just a few more diapers and then I always have like a spare shirt at least. I must have used her leggings because I normally keep like a whole spare outfit in there, but 
And then I just keep all of her snacks in a Ziploc bag. And then I'm gonna take an empty sippy. And then I have one of her little like snack carriers. Um, I think it's in the car, honestly. That's fine. Uh, just gonna throw it in my bag when I get in the car. And then I have her socks that she's gonna wear and her little bow, but I wait to put these on until we get there. Not really with socks, but with her bow, I'm always nervous that it's gonna like get pulled down around her like neck and she's gonna get like really pissed off. Or like, honestly, it's like a choking hazard too. But I just always get nervous that she's gonna get it caught and she won't be able to get it off by herself. Also throwing a bib in the bag just in case we do go out to eat. Got all the things. Okay, I have to tend to my baby, but I also keep grocery bags in here for like dirty clothes, dirty bib. Okay. All right, I have my kitchen pretty reset. I just, I just, oh, I really don't like to leave my house like feeling crazy because coming home, like with probably a cranky, like restless baby. She's about ready for a nap, which is why I wanted, which is why I wanted to go at this time. Come here then, oh my gosh. I was fine holding you, but you're trying to escape my arms. I don't know if this is interesting, seeing how I prepare to leave the house with an almost one-year-old. I'm honestly not as crazy about it as I used to be because she doesn't drink milk every two hours. I'll feed her before I go. Maybe once while we're out. If not, she'll have plenty of real food to snack on and stuff. I don't feel the need to like pack an insane diaper bag that I know like I won't use half of. I'm just way more real realistic with it now, I feel like. At least compared to how it used to be. It looks like she wants down, right? Okay. She doesn't. Also, you can judge me if you want. We got this tablet for her for like 50 bucks on Amazon, specifically for car rides because this child, she'll do that the whole, the whole car ride. And it is truly, truly, truly miserable as the mother to just, it's truly just sad and miserable to hear your baby hysterically cry and scream for 45 minutes. It like, it's enough to put you in a mood. So screen time for car rides, absolutely. freaking lutely What else is she supposed to do? Look out the window. She's ele almost 11 months old. Like, was she, play Tetris? Like she can't entertain herself. Yeah, I'm gonna give her the freaking iPad, the tablet, whatever. So I'm not even sad about it. You can judge me if you want. We absolutely utilize screen time. So judge me if you want. We'll see you guys at the aquarium.
mall there's no Starbucks which is fine I really genuinely did not need another coffee but I want it so bad but I just remembered I made some of my like decaf cold brew I'm getting back into that because I just feel like I've been overdoing the caffeine a little bit lately so I want to get back in my especially now that it's warming up it's like 80 degrees out now which I kind of love, kind of hate. Just need to get back into my busy decaf cold brew because it's so good. And if you've been here for a while, you know this is my favorite, favorite creamer specifically for my cold brew. It's all you need. It's literally so pretty. I'm just cra craving that coffee. I really was bummed. I had my... I had my like taste buds set for a coffee and there's just no Starbucks. Like what mall doesn't have a Starbucks? I just find that so weird. Anyway, we're home now. I am gonna set her up so she can roll around for like an hour and then hopefully take a decent nap. But that's what I needed. There's not even caffeine and I feel it in my bloodstream. Okay, she's down for her nap. It's like 2.20, I'm hoping she'll sleep for at least an hour, especially since like her little car nap was pretty, pretty short compared to her hour and a half usual first nap. And honestly, what I wanna do is just go shower and like clean up the kitchen a little bit, just like put dishes away. I could definitely start a load of laundry, but I think I have to work out. I think, especially because we had Sbarro's, I just feel like, ugh, food poisoning. I just feel like heavy and like yucky. I feel like I need to drink some water. And I'm gonna do at least 20 minutes of either something, I need to do something, or else I'm just gonna feel like gross, you know? I need to like exercise the demons. I don't remember if I actually talked about it in my last video, but I've been on like a new workout kick. It's on the Peloton, like you pay for a Peloton membership if you want the classes, but it's way more than like just cycling. They have like yoga, Pilates, like different boot camps, like shadow boxing. They have programs for like meditation, running, stretching, all kinds of stuff. Also, I've been on like a strength training kick. So we ordered some heavier weights. I was shook at how expensive dumbbells are. It is like basically $2 a pound. And we got some 40s and 25s. And it was like $250 or something like that for two sets of weights. I just thought that was like outrageous. Like that's crazy. I've just really been enjoying like changing it up. I love cycling, but I do feel like I just want to switch it up a little bit more. I just need to like move my body because I'm feeling old. I'm just feeling really sleepy and I just feel like this will wake me up a little bit and make me feel good about myself. Food poisoning. Um, and that's what I want. So we're, we're gonna do that.
This instructor is kind of a pick me girl. <laughs> I like literally don't even do my nails. Why was that kind of me like two months ago? <sighs> okay, honestly that 20 minute, that's all I have in me. I feel like nauseous. Food poisoning? I really think it was the Sabaro. I think the, the pepperoni, stromboli. <sighs> Yeah, I don't know, just with workouts when, and I feel like I've been this way for ever, pretty much. If there are workouts where I have to lay like flat on my back for anything, like I just get so nauseous. Like, what is that? <sighs> like doing the planks and then rolling to your back and doing like abs and the glute bridges and this and then rolling over and getting up and doing lunge. Like, it just like, like really hurts my head. <laughs> So hopefully you enjoyed that teeny tiny little montage. I didn't, I stopped recording because I was just like, okay, I need to like focus on my workout and not worry about the camera or whatever. But there's like a little taste of the type of workouts I've been doing lately. And when I'm not eating Sabaros in the middle of the day, my workouts go a lot better, but it is what it is. It is what it is. I'm gonna shower. We actually booked our first family vacation for May. I'm kind of nervous because it's like a very far car ride and Lily hates the car, but we're going to the beach. So I'm not setting like any crazy goals or anything, but I definitely would love to like just feel good when we go. So, and I've been in like a really good groove, so I just don't want to lose that. And yeah, so I'm really excited. I booked our Airbnb like a couple nights ago. Also, oh my God, Lily took her first steps. I have not even said that this vlog. On March 12th, Lily took her very first steps and it took me two days to catch it on camera. So I'll throw that clip. Whoa. So I'll throw that clip in here real quick. Good job. But that was the first I caught on camera. Time is just flying so fast. It's crazy to know like now, like she will be walking by her first birthday. Like what? Like I knew that was probably going to happen, but now I like know like she's trying to walk more and more every day. So it's just crazy. Anyway, I like truly feel kind of sick. So I'm gonna shower. Sorry for the jumps here. <laughs> um, so pretty sure I either have or had food poisoning. We love that. I'm pretty sure it was from the Sabaros. Just saying that word like makes me ill. So PSA, don't get the stromboli maybe? I don't know. I have no idea. I just know that I barely slept last night. If you don't know this about me, I have a crippling fear of throwing up. Like genuinely, it, I was up all night convincing myself I did not need to throw up and I was able to not throw up, which means I just felt miserable all night long. <laughs> I wish so badly that I was not so scared of throwing up. I don't care if other people throw up. I mean, I don't love it, but it's just me. It's the act. It's the anticipation. I like, sorry, this is gross. But like I dry heave a lot and it like fucks my throat up so bad because I'm like fighting it with every ounce of my being. So it was a really fun night. Let me tell you, being a mom while you're sick is truly like one of the most challenging, miserable experiences. <laughs> Especially a baby, like she's still in diapers. I, you know, meal time, I was just like queasy over the thought of cooking eggs. But man, momming while you're sick is no fucking joke. It is not for the weak, but it's also incredible like what your body and your brain is capable of. Because <laughs> if I did not have a baby, like I would not have even gotten out of bed. Like if I was working, I would have called off of work and I would have only left my bed for water and to pee. Like that is quite, li maybe a bath. And I didn't leave the house today, but I still kept a human alive and happy. But it is like three o'clock. I really wanted to make her 
smash cake in this video but honestly i think i might save that for the next one because the thought of like having to read directions and like use my brain just sounds impossible right now so sorry to end the video like this we really wish i wouldn't have eaten sabaros food poisoning but it's fine we're here we're on the up and up i hope but i've spent both of her naps just laying down and being in bed i just like cannot eat so much respect to moms moms of multiples like when you don't feel good it is so hard like it is literally so hard so nothing but respect thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to give this video a like subscribe to my channel i'm really close to my 500 subscribers goal so if you want to help me get closer to that goal support a stay-at-home mom i would be so appreciative the next video we'll make lily's smash cake we'll practice i got her cake topper in actually so it's really freaking cute okay i will see you guys in the next one